So we are heading towards the end of the chapter in which today we shall be specifically dealing with question number 3. And why this is very important? Because here we are going to learn continued proportion. Continued proportion. Now, what is this continued proportion? It states that if, before we start the chapter, this is very important, because only then you will be able to understand third proportion. What do you mean by third proportion? So if A, B and C are in continued proportion, then the ratio of first and the second, then ratio of first and second will be equal to the ratio of second and third. This means that if A, B and C are in continued proportion, then A is to B is in proportion to B is to C. So here it is very clear that this is the first term, ratio first and second is equal to second is to third. This means that if this means that if A and B are given, if A and B are given and you need to find out, you need to find out a value C and the, these three are in continued proportion, then this C is known as the third proportion third proportion this c is known as third proportion this means if a and b are given and they say that they are in continued proportion so you can keep a third value c and apply a is to b proportion to B is to C. This is very very important before we start. Now here I think everything will be clear. So in question number 3 they say find the third proportion find the third proportion of 27 and 9. This means they are saying that 27 is a number, 9 is a number. You take a number x as the third proportion and apply, apply continued, c-o-n-t-i, continued proportion. Now, when you will be applying continued proportion, then you will have to mention it in this way that the ratio of first and second will be in proportion to second is to x third one now if you are able to find x then in that case you will be able to find out the third proportion try to understand the concept of this third proportion. What is this third proportion? Why it is there? Now, what are you going to apply? You will be applying the, that the product of extremes, product of extremes, which I had taught you earlier. Extremes is equal to product of means. Now, applying this formula, 27 into x 
will be equal to 9 times 9. So x will be equal to 9 times 9 by 27. Let me solve this. 9 3 times and then 3 3 times is equal to 3 which is your third proportion. I hope this is clear. Solving the sums is not necessary than understanding the concept. So again you are asked that find the third proportion to 2 meter 40 centimeter and 40 centimeter. So as I said let the third proportion this 2 meter 40 centimeter 2 meter 40 centimeter is equal to 2 times 100 plus 40 because you know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter therefore 2 meter will be equal to 200 centimeter plus 40 centimeter and this 40 centimeter is already in centimeter let my third proportion be x isn't it so now when you have three of the numbers and they are in continued form so when they are in continued form what do we apply we apply that the ratio between the first here you get 2 into 100 plus 40 240 then here you have 40 and then here you have x so the ratio between first and second is proportional to second is to the third one therefore what are you going to apply you are going to apply the same thing but you have to mention otherwise you know product of means extremes streams is equal to product of means this means that 240 into x will be equal to better 40 into 40 you know how to find the value of x as 40 into 40 by 240 you people are clever and you can solve it see how beautifully it cuts oh, oh, oh. 4 6 times and then 2 3 times and 2 20 so I will write 20 by 3 or you can write 6 2 by 3 your answer was in centimeter should be in centimeter because here you have taken x in centimeter now number 3 states that find the third proportion to 1.8 1.8 and 0 0.6 so why not to take the third proportion as x therefore when you take the third proportion as x and apply continued proportion then in that case we write that the ratio of the first and the second is in proportion to second is to third therefore again the same thing product of means why means every time I say means only extreme extremes because x is over here x will be on this side will be equal to product of extremes again see what is happening to me means now whatever 1.8 multiplied by x is equal to 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 therefore x will be equal to better 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 by 1.8 let me cancel it oh, oh 
de decimal is in the de is in the denominator therefore i'll have to remove it to one place towards the right here also i have to re remove one place towards the right and this one will become let me write it clearly okay into 6 by 18 now is very clear so you will not get confused 6 1 times 6 3 times and 3 Point 0.2 times so is equal to 0 0.2 as your solution now in number four they have they are asking you the third proportion to 1 by 7 see the question is same but they are giving you numbers so that you get little confused but I hope that now you will not get confused because you have already mastered this formula that the ratio of the first and the second is in proportion to the second and the third and then you apply the product of extremes 1 by 7 into x is equal to the product of the means 3 by 14 into 3 by 14 now how are you going to find the x so this how and how will become wow isn't it so this 1 by 7 into x so when 1 by 7 will go this side it will be divided by 1 by 7 so instead of writing divided by 1 by 7 I can write multiplied by 7 by 1 now let's cancel it 7 1 times 7 2 times is equal to 3 3 are 9 by 28 I told you know that this how will become wow okay again you have 1.6 and 0.8 so what are you going to do I hope that now again you have become smarter and you will take x as the third proportion and then you will finally apply the continued form so when it is in continued form then the ratio of the first and the second is will be in proportion to the second 0 0.8 and the third one and then what you will be doing you will be applying the product of means extremes is equal to product of means and then what you will do you know 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 divided by 1.6 I'll remove one place from here so I'll have to remove one place from here also as I said I want my work to be in neat form or neatly done therefore now it looks very neat let me cancel 8 1 times 2 times and 2 point 0.4 is equal to 0 0.4 as your solution since you have taken so much of patience, therefore you need one T H A N K, you my boys and girls. Thank you.